recording. Hey all, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a review on not one, but two 2021 Brute Force 750s. Uh, one is my wife's, one is mine. Um, we have um, pro approximately 2,200 kilometers on each one. I just checked mine and she rides whenever I ride. So uh, 2,200 trouble-free kilometers. And we don't drive these easy. We, we drive them pretty hard. Um, this is my wife. She's got a back box. Uh, full aluminum skid plate, no air and protection though, only the stock cowie uh, stuff. Uh, she's got heated grips, which she really likes. Something mandatory, I would say, we got on both of ours is we got these Colpin um, thumb extenders uh, because the the push on the the leverage of the very short. Uh, throttle bar here on brutes along with the uh the tension of the of the cable it, it it kills you after a day so so yeah um my bike's the same i have a back box as well uh full of gopro mounts everywhere um full aluminum skid plate i got uh ansla 26 inch tires and if I was to do to get do it again, I would get a different brand because these weigh about 100 pounds each. And the acceleration, the acceleration of her bike, which has stock 25s, versus my bike, which has uh, these Ansel 26s, is night and day. Um, her bike is way faster. Uh, yeah, her bike is way faster than mine. Um, off the get like on acceleration um yeah so recording so some of the add-ons that i've done on this bike um i did a uh usb charger it's got an inline fuse got a ram mount for my uh non-active cell phone i downloaded uh polaris ride command and i'm using it in offline non-cellular mode so it doesn't need a uh it does not need a uh a sim card so it's just using the onboard gps of the cell phone uh i got a gopro mount down there <coughs> And that's pretty much it for the mods on this bike. Reliability. <coughs> Nothing has happened, knock on wood. Uh, no belt breakage, no getting stuck, no battery dying, no electronic problems. Nothing bad has happened on either one of these bikes in over 2,000 kilometers. So if any of you guys know, 2,000 kilometers is a lot of kilometers on a bike, on a, on a one-year-old bike, and we've been using it, and I wouldn't say abusing it, but we have been using it to its, to its potential. Um, it's not like we bought brute forces and drive them like we own Hondas. We drive them like we own brute forces. We drive them fast, we drive them hard. Uh, you know, I've, I've smashed soup bowl sized dents in the bottom of my, uh, in the bottom of my, uh, aluminum skid plate, took it off, bashed it out. Everything's good. Uh, oh, I also use this bike to plow. Um, I have a, I have a Kimpex two in one click and go, uh, click and go plow that I use to plow a very long driveway. Got no problems with this bike whatsoever. Uh, it's relatively good on fuel. I don't know. Today's price is a gas. It only costs about 20 bucks Canadian to fill up. A uh, couple little things that, that concerned me at first. Uh, my wife's 
clutch basket rattles a little bit only when it's cold uh, had it brought it into the shop they said no problem they all do it um, mine does the same thing uh, to a lesser extent also both of them and I'm, and I'm gonna show you this uh, both of them at 20 kilometers an hour has a bit of a harmonic vibration somewhere in the uh, in the the clutch but once you get past 22 kilometers an hour it goes away so it must be something some sort of uh, I don't know they, they both do it so I apparently that's nothing to worry about either because we brought it in for that as well um, these bikes go as slow or as fast as you want them to uh, I have no clutch kit done but this thing will do well over 100 kilometers an hour even with these big ass Ansla 26's that weigh 50 pounds a piece um, in, in the blink of an eye and my wife's bike my wife's bike gets there even quicker Recording. Yeah, so they're they're super fast, um, comparatively speaking to other bikes in its class, which is not a it's not a race bike class. I I'd almost consider this a utility bike because uh, I use it to plow. I have a big trailer I can put on the back and haul stuff around the yard, and uh, it doesn't skip a beat. Um, it's got uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive right there, switch on the fly. I think you have to get down to about five kilometers an hour to do that. It's got uh, four high, four low, neutral reverse. Uh, it has the um, diff lock, this yellow switch right there. That's a diff lock. It's got all the bells and whistles you need. Um, plus the ability for it to take off like a bat out of hell at a moment's notice now i'm not driving fast on this trail because it's a uh, it's a multi-use trail and uh we're supposed to be driving under 20 kilometers an hour so i don't want to uh i don't want to scare anybody sometimes at night in the winter time when i know there's nobody on the trail i go a little faster i'm doing 28 now Nobody's going to arrest me for that. Um, what else can I say about this? We've spent a lot of time on these bikes, and I fully expected not to make it to 2,128 kilometers without any, any issues, because any of the other motorized vehicles that I've owned in my life that... Uh, that I've driven as hard as this one. Oh yeah, the, the, the problems surface rather quickly. I do have a bit of a squeak, <coughs> excuse me. I do have a bit of a squeak in my rear suspension, but I think that's just because the bike's been sitting for a while in the summertime. Um, it's, it's lessened after its ride today. We're just coming home from a ride in the woods. So, um, so yeah. Uh, how many hours do I have on this? I have 102 hours. So 2,128 kilometers, 102 hour review on, on two bikes. I got no complaints. Uh, a lot of the reviews are, if you could do it again, would you? And I would say yes. Yes, I absolutely would do it again. I'd do it again twice because um, I, and I am not a Kawasaki or Brute Force, brute force fanboy by any means. I got a piece of gear. I use it as a tool. That tool is to have fun, and the tool performs. So, yeah, um, I have no complaints. 
My wife has no complaints. She drives it. She drives it just as hard as I do. And uh, yeah, uh, so far this thing is bulletproof. I bought an extra belt to have with me on the trails. <coughs> Excuse me. Because that is a wear item, and uh, wear items, no matter what brand you're riding, wear items wear out, and they break. So, if you are looking at this video, because you're going to get a brute force, or looking for a brute, excuse me, looking for a brute force, have the dealer throw in a spare OEM belt on the purchase, because I did and uh, I just bought one. I keep it in the back there. Yeah, so um, we're pleased. Uh, the bike works as intended. What they could improve upon, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, is the thumb lever. The thumb lever is extremely short, so you don't have, you have to really ream on it to get the bike to go. And I'm a big boy, and I couldn't drive a half hour without, uh, without my thumb just feeling like it's going to fall off. So I bought these, these little coal pin things that just bolt on, and through leverage it makes it a lot easier. It's very effortless now. Also, uh, the headlights on Brute Force are absolutely, positively terrible. They're terrible, terrible, terrible. You can hardly see 50 feet in front of you when it's dark out. So uh, that's, that's one of the, the rare negatives on this bike is, is, is the lighting. You know, for the money we're spending, and we're spending a lot of money on these bikes, if you're buying them new, even if you're not buying them new. For the money we're spending on these bikes, throw some fucking LEDs in there, please. Like, throw them, it's like an incandescent candle light inside the headlight. Anyway, that's pretty much my only gripe about about these, uh, about these buggies. Um, I've been, I've been almost seat deep in water uh, halfway in mud, you know, crawling over giant rocks, boulders, you name it. As long as you don't beat the shit out of the internals underneath the bike, the bike will keep going. So the, the plastic skid plate that comes on these bikes and pretty much any other bikes uh, is insufficient. Upgrade to aluminum or really thicker, like, uh, like hockey board type, like plastic. And, and and you'll get you'll get uh, you'll get the life out of the bike. The uh, also you know these bikes are, are made to be uh, they're made to be maintained. You know, do the services when the book says to do the services. Um, also, the break-in procedure that's a that's a, a bit of a, a contested. Uh, a contested issue. Some people follow the book to the, you know, half throttle for the first 10 hours, which I did. I followed it by the book. But there are others, there's another camp of people that are like, crank the shit out of it for the first half hour at the almost top speed and then change your oil and then you're good. But, you know, for warranty purposes, I want to keep this... Uh, I want to keep this, you know, above board uh, the way Kawasaki intended it to be. So I broke it in proper, and I've had no problems since. So um, if I was going to rank this uh, out of 10, if I was going to rank this out of 10, I'd give it a 10 because I love this bike. Uh, it runs good in the snow. It runs good in the hot. Oh, talking about hot. Uh, you see a lot of these people uh, on, <coughs> excuse me, brute forces do the rad relocates. Uh, they do the rad relocates up here because the rad is down front there, and you got to keep it clean. So if you're a mud guy, which you know, I'll 
I'll have some fun in the mud, but I'm not one of the guys floating around wearing the fin trail wearing the fin trail waders all the time. Um, I, I yeah. So I make sure to keep my radiator clean. Uh, spray some high pressure water through it. Not not through a uh, a high pressure uh, uh, thingy. You know those high pressure machines. You gotta don't want to blow a hole in your radiator with one of those but uh if you keep your rad clean <coughs> keep your oil changed keep keep good fuel in it i only use regular 87 octane in this you'll have this bike for a long time and uh i don't know what that beeping is i'm sorry about that whenever i turn my head to the left it, it beeps um yeah if you take care of the bike just like any any machine you know, lawnmower, truck, car, motorcycle, skidoo, ATV. If you really do your maintenance, the bike will last for a really long time. And like I said, for the money that uh, the money that these things cost, which is uh, more than the average ATV, let's say that, you should be doing the maintenance. Anyway, I hope that, uh, oh, the hiccup, sorry guys. I hope that uh, I convinced somebody to buy Brew Force today. Uh, Kawasaki obviously is not a sponsor, so I have no ulterior motives to get other people out on Brew Forces other than, uh, other than sharing my, uh, sharing how I, uh, how much I love this machine. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you're new here just because of the of the review video, uh, please uh, subscribe because I probably have 50 YouTube videos of me on these brute forces, and uh, there's lots of good content. Um, anyway, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.